Hi everybody, in this video I will demonstrate setting up an ethical hacking or penetration testing lab. While the video directly relates to activities 1 and 2 in my ethical hacking course, I kept it general enough for anyone out there who's interested but not in my course. So let us get started. All right, so the first thing you need, of course, is a dedicated computer with a lot of penetration testing tools. However, instead of installing one tool at a time, which will take you forever, you can use an existing operating system distribution with pre-installed tools. There are many distributions out there. It is really up to you. However, in this demo, I will use Kali Linux. It is a popular Linux distribution, as the name suggests, with around 600 security tools. Next, you will need practice targets. These are machines or computers with different operating systems, different security configurations, some of them are vulnerable, and so on. It is really up to you how many targets you use and what security configurations are available in these targets. And by the way, I will point you to the right place where you can get a lot of vulnerable targets for practice. From Kali, we will scan, enumerate, and attack these targets. And unless you can afford multiple computers, there is a more effective solution, namely virtualization. On your own physical computer, you can have Kali Linux, and all your targets as virtual machines. Given, of course, that your computer is powerful enough, fast enough to handle these virtual machines. Also, you will need a hypervisor or a virtualization software installed on your computer. Once again, there are many to choose from and it's really up to you. If you're looking for a free virtualization software, I recommend Oracle VirtualBox. In this demo, I am using VMware Workstation 16. After installing our hypervisor, there are several installation options for the VMs. Let me discuss two different ones to give you flexibility and choice. Number one, you can create your virtual machine from scratch and configure it in any way you want. To do that, you will need to download a disk image of that distribution. This disk image would typically have an ISO extension as you can see here in front of you. Next, in your virtualization software, you need to select the create a new virtual machine option. This option is slow, but it gives you flexibility. The second option is to download a pre-installed virtual machine. To do that, you will need to download some sort of an archive file, a zip file, for example. And in this instance, as you can see here, it has the 7z extension. And then you extract it. Once you extracted it, you will select the open a virtual machine option. This option is super fast, and that's why I will be using it. So on with the demo. So we will start by installing Kali Linux, our Tiger Box, and we will select the right option, the right format for us. In my case, I will be downloading, as I mentioned before, a pre-installed virtual machine specifically for VMware Workstation. In my case and for my ethical hacking course, we have VMware Workstation 16, and that's why we are choosing this version of the download. It is always recommended to download from the source, Kali.org in this case. And of course, it is always recommended to download the latest version. FYI, bare metal refers to installing Kali directly on the hardware, directly on your laptop or your desktop. So basically, you'll be downloading an ISO image. However, instead of installing it as a virtual machine, you will be installing it as the main operating system on your computer. Once the download is complete, we will locate the file, extract it, and then open it using our hypervisor. 
I recommend organizing all your virtual machines in one place, but I want to show you what's inside this extracted virtual machine. As you can see, I have a lot of virtual disk files that make up the VM. One particular file stands out and is very important is the virtual machine configuration file. This is the file that we will use to open the VM. So locate the file and open your virtual machine. The first thing I want you to notice are the settings, including the memory it takes, the number of processors, and so on. You can edit these settings, but this is for another video. And of course, the credentials for this virtual machines are available. The username and password are Kali Kali. At this point, we are ready to power on our VM and test it. For this option, select I copied it. As a first step, I always like to test that I successfully got an IP address from the virtual DHCP server. With this, we conclude the first step of the ethical hacking lab setup. The next step is to set up or install or download some target machines. For my ethical hacking course, my students can download these two targets, Metasploitable and Windows XP. If you're not in my course or you're simply interested in availing more target machines, simply visit this website and download as many as you need. Of course, you can always set up your own target machine. Once a target machine is downloaded, you simply follow the same steps. You extract it and you open it using your virtualization software. Once again, when you download a new virtual machine, the first thing I want you to do is to notice its settings. The network adapter for this VM is set to bridge. I don't know if you notice, but the same settings, the network adapter in Kali was set to NAT. Therefore, we have to change one of them, and for now, let's just change our new target VM from bridge to NAT. As part of the first network lab activity, I will be talking more about these network settings. For now, let's just ensure that all VMs have the same settings. Change to NAT and power it on. A very important note, we are performing penetration testing, ethical hacking, we are scanning and attacking these target machines. So most of the time, you don't even need to log in to any of these targets. I will now extract and open my second target machine, which is Windows XP. I will also change the network adapter settings from bridge to NAT. I expect you to be able to do this at this point without watching the video, so I'm gonna play it in very fast mode. Okay, now that my two targets are up and running, the first order of business is to scan them from Kali. To do that, I will use Nmap and perform a quick host discovery scan. In the first demo and first lab activity, we performed a similar scan and we discovered three IP addresses my host machine and the two targets. Here you will notice that I have five hosts. So what are they? The first two IP addresses ending in .1 and .2 are reserved for special virtual hosts created by my hypervisor, such as the virtual DHCP server, the virtual gateway, and so on. So basically, they are internal virtual hosts that we will ignore in our course. Next is Kali's IP address ending in .128. This is the IP address that we discovered using IP space A. Next, we see two IP addresses ending in 129 and 130. These are my targets. With us being able to scan and discover our targets, the setup for our ethical hacking lab is now complete. This is it for this video. If you have any feedback, please let me know in the comment section and thank you for watching.